Hi, Brian Jack. I work as Buckwild Outdoor Adventurist, Animal Enthusiast, Conservationist, and Friend, and also do a gimmick called The Angry American. Kind of a stone cold gimmick with a shaved head. I am from Appleton, Wisconsin. I currently reside at my cabin on Lake Winnicani, Wisconsin. I'm from the United States of America. I'm six foot one, 218 pounds, 38 years of age. I'm currently unemployed as of January 7th of 09. I was injured at FCW, unfortunate, terrible accident. Um, so I pay my bills by selling the other three cabins that I used to own, vehicles, boats, equipment, sporting goods, on Craigslist and eBay, liquidating. That's how I pay my bills. Um, WWE just sent me to Dr. Andrews, one last MRI, clear me a month ago, and I am looking for work. In the winter months, the road to my cabin, which is a mile long, is blocked. We block the road for the safety of the animals, to give them some peace. What's really important to me is preparation. This one mile hike gives me a great opportunity to prepare for my day. Okay, we're inside my cabin. I was just going to give you a little tour. Looking out to the west, looking out in front of the lake, Looking out east, I've got a beautiful view, gorgeous view. I've got DVDs and a pretty extensive VHS cassette library of all old wrestling. Um, all my favorites from Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Eddie Guerrero, The Undertaker, Triple H. Japanese workers, Kurt Henning. Actually, I have Kurt Henning and Nick Bockwinkle in here now. Uh, Rick Flair, Rick Steamboat. P.S. Michael Hayes. That's where I learned their mannerisms, their facial expressions. I actually stare in the mirror too and try to mimic everything these guys do. But I've never been trained until I went to Japan. I learned a lot from watching Rambo. And the Ultimate Edition has a like a bibliography. He he narrates through the movie. So I learn from Sylvester why he does what he does, when he does. It interprets to me into the wrestling ring. It's the same thing in entertainment. I just want to show you this is my sensei in, in Japan, Ishikawa, working in Tony Onoki, uh, Ishikawa Fujiwara, training me some missions. This is me in Japan. This is about a week before my dog was killed and I had to come home. The night that my dog was killed, uh, Rick Steamboat gave me a tin of Copenhagen over in Japan and this is the tin. Thanks, Steamer. This was my favorite student in Japan, Fuka. I was a preschool teacher, kindergarten teacher. Princess Fuka. I leave this stuff around here just to remind me of where I was and where I want to get back to. Yeah, diehard Packer fans. The Frozen Tundra. My father, Gene Jack, he's a national champion. Sporting clay shooter, state champ. Four years in a row. My mother and father used to be married, divorced. My mother runs a golf course. She's a great lady, great leader in the community. Does a lot of charity work. She's taught me a lot. Um, my, my sister has three beautiful boys and she's a great girl. She doesn't like the cabin so much. She's more of a girly girl. I have a good family. They're not very supportive of me wrestling because they've seen me down and hurt and injured. But, you know, this is where I come to train and heal and get better. And I love it here. I just, I love the environment. And part of that love and that passion, I want to bring to WWE and uh, create awareness and educate kids. I really like kids. Through the Tough Enough program, WWE and the USA Network, 
WWE ultimately provides Brian Jack the platform to give back to the environment that allowed me to heal from my wounds and rehabilitate my injuries and perform weekly creature features, environmental impact statements to connect with the kids in the WWE universe, to create awareness about the entire planet's environmental issues so that humans and creatures may continue to survive and coexist in an environment that we, Hi, as a team, can continue to protect. We will be targeting a whole new audience that has never been marketed before, a green market, as well as bringing back the old school audience through creativity and teamwork. Okay, guys, right there is where my dog was killed when I sat in Japan, February 4th of 05. When my dog was shot and killed. I worked so hard to get where I was at at that point in my life. I loved my dog. And then I came home to find out my best friend had been shot and killed. And I rock, my former teammate, my college football teammate. And then I got hurt in a car accident on the way to the funeral. So I missed his funeral. So I've got a lot to prove. I need a chance to get back in the ring and to fight as hard as Johnny did for Johnny for my dog, for the environment, for the kids. I've paid my dues, and it took three years to finally get justice for my animal. You can see I live rough enough. Will you just give me the chance? Give me one chance to fail, so I can prove that I'm tough enough. Brian Jack at my cabin. Why don't you come on inside? Characters welcome.